Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I have another um, card for you guys with our new product that is coming June 4th. Um, this suite is called Perennial Essence and the stamp set that I'm using is called Floral Essence. It is a photopolymer set. Um, you can see I've used it quite a bit already. Um, it has some beautiful images, floral images in here. We have a new punch that coordinates with this flower, and this leaf actually coordinates with our current leaf punch um, that we have in our catalog. And so there's some great sentiments here, and there's some gorgeous paper that co coordinates with this suite as well. So let me pull that out. This is called Perennial Essence Designer Series Paper. And you can see it's kind of like a painted look, but the colors are just gorgeous. So this is very versatile. You can use this paper in many different ways. And there's some, you know, plainer um, sheets in here as well. These are double-sided, so I'm showing you uh, each of the patterns. I love the purple um, tones in here and then the, the pops of white with the flowers. Here's a gorgeous, this is the piece we're using today. Let me move some of these out of my way. Look at that one. This one is gorgeous as well. They all have their own look to them. Neither are the same and it's just gorgeous. This one is pretty too. So we are going to use a piece of this on today's project as well. Um, like I said, this coordinates with the punch. And where did I put my punch? I want to show you that as well. Here is the punch. So that punch I used to create that flower on the front of our card. And then we're also going to use some new vellum. Um, so if you're not familiar with vellum, it's kind of a transparent um, paper. Typically it's found, you know, in just plain. And we have some new colored vellum in our annual catalog. This is Petal Pink Old Olive and So Saffron. And we're going to use a piece of the Old Olive today for our sentiment. All right, so let's jump in here. Um, for our card base, we are using a piece of Balmy Blue. This is 8.5 by 5.5. It's scored at 4 and a quarter. I have a piece of the Perennial Designer Series paper that is 4 by 5 and a quarter. You can see in either one of these sides would look great. Um, and then I have a scrap piece of Balmy Blue as well as Blackberry Bliss. We're going to use our Blackberry Bliss ink pad. We have a piece of the Old Olive Vellum. This piece is cut two, let me see, two by, let me just double check myself, yeah, th two by three and three quarters. And then I'm going to use a circle from our Stitch Shapes framelit as well. So we'll pull in our big shot for that too. Um, this is going to be a very quick quick and simple card, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the, the beautiful suites that are coming. Um, hopefully you are on my catalog mailing list. If you are not, you can find a link to that in the description of this video. Let's put some adhesive on our designer series paper. Oh, got myself stuck here. Let's. Okay. Get that off my hand. Okay. All right, let's put that down. Looks good. Let's grab our Blackberry Bliss ink. And why don't we do our stamping? So. We're going to stamp the large flower from this set onto the balmy blue. That's what we're going to uh, die cut in our stitched circle. Looks great. Flower, we're going to stamp this on the Blackberry Bliss in Blackberry Bliss. So it'll be a little harder to see, but you can see it in person. And I will try to put that up to the camera for you. So hopefully you can see those there. All right. Oh, I need to do our sentiment as well. 
So on our um, vellum, this takes some time to dry. So I want to tell you guys that as well. When you're stamping on vellum, um, it's the ink stays wet for a while. I actually was going to do one of these in advance, and I think I think I forgot to do it. Let's see. So we are going to stamp that there and your block will will tend to want to move so you just want to go straight down and then right back up so that you don't smudge your ink so we will set that aside and then we're going to grab our punch and let's do our punching here love this punch because i love that we can build um dimension with these flower layers. Okay. All right, let's grab our big shot. Blue, let's grab that circle. We just want to line that up nicely. And then we'll roll that through. And then what I was going to do, and hopefully I have a feeling I'm going to smudge this, I can tell that it's still wet. With our triple banner punch, I'm going to put our piece in here. And I think, yeah, hold on, there we go. Okay, let me back it out a little bit. All right, so far so good, but I can see that that is wet now for us to build. So let's go ahead. What I'm going to do is actually bring in my glue dot. So with the vellum, you will see the adhesive if you don't position it um, carefully as to where you'll hide, hide it with something. So we're gonna put some adhesive behind the vellum where our flower is going to go. So I'm going to put a few uh, glue dots. Let me grab another here. And then we're going to line this up flush with the top of that layer. Okay, and then I think I'll use some liquid glue here, or multi-purpose glue. So. that stays for the at least the remainder of the video I can add more to it later okay and then we will put some glue dots just for time's sake on the back of our flower and then I'm going to put that right over where those glue dots are and then I'm just going to kind of um, pull up try not to touch that ink that's still uh, wet. Pull up our petals there. And then for our blue one, I'm gonna put adhesive on the back of this. And then we want to, and this should help us hold, hold that vellum down. Okay, so there is our card. Hopefully you can see that flower. I know at a distance it's hard to see. Um, let's grab a whisper white envelope and just to coordinate we will go right back to our big flower and our blackberry bliss and we will stamp one of those right here on the edge of our envelope beautiful okay so that completes our quick um, floral essence uh, card. This is a gorgeous suite. I, um, I think this will be a very popular suite um, because of the paper and just the, the images and the sentiments are just gorgeous. So I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I look forward to being back with you real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.